All right, I've returned. I had an internet issue, and uh, it surprised me. Uh, the timing was very unusual as well, but um, I'm back. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone's having a good time. Um, I, you know. So definitely, definitely got to be careful streaming when I'm short on sleep, like I am now, because, uh, you know, sometimes to keep the energy up, I'm just kind of, uh, just don't think all the way through, you know? Hello, dragon. How's it going? Hope you're doing good. We just had a weird internet issue over here, but... And back. That's good. Ten hours driving an excavator. That's a long time. That sounds brutal. I um I have like family way out in a rural part of uh the, the country. You know, and they, they have done that kind of driving, like, gigantic vehicles, right? Those ones that are just, like, those big uh, trucks that are just the size of, like, buildings. It's still, you know, it's a long time to be doing that, though. That's, uh, that takes a lot of, uh... You gotta st stay concentrated and stuff. Yeah, the hand spiders are scary, yeah. This guy's not a fan of Rikard. He's missing out. Do, um... Yeah, the spiders... The, the hand spiders are, like... They're so in your face. They're so aggressive. They're, they're scary. And they get perched whenever you see them. Yeah, that's, uh... That's true. That's a good plan. Um, there is a boss down here. Somewhere. Right? Or did that... Uh... They do the creepy Kazuma thing where they twiddle their fingers weirdly. Oh, it's at the tree, yeah. Yeah, they do do that. Um, they 
They make the skittering noise too, actually. They're, they're like, they got the full creepy concerto. That's its face too. If it really has one. It does speed up a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna stomp. I butt stomp it. I was trying. I don't know if you noticed. Oh no. I think. It's a pretty chill fight. That's another one that might have been fun to keep around, but they're like, we're gonna find more of those. And the, the more health they have, the more damage they do, and the better that will be for invaders joining us. I think that's like a holy bow that bow, a holy bow that lets you do bonus holy damage with those. Okay. Oh yeah, I have been invading. So I guess uh, this is the only thing to do over here. For some reason, I thought this was the road to Volcano Manor. Maybe it's up top. That's where it is.
They're switching to their weapons. I don't know why I'm not getting any audio for that. Well, there's a stealth scarab. It's up top. Is the stealth scarab um, up top, or is it um, is it down here? Oh, you mean? Do you mean the one running around? That didn't do any damage to them. That doesn't make a lot of sense. There we go. Haha, uh, butt slam. Oh, very good backstab. Very good. Cool, thank you, uh, Dragon, for the heads up. I'll definitely head up there. Because I want to see... Is it the one that's, like, invisible and running around? Because I'm, I think I already got that before, right before you came in. Also, I didn't see that spider. I, I looked at... Sneaky spider. Madness build up. Um, once once it procs, it'll do like a um, a base damage against you. So it'll take a chunk of your health, um, and it will also lower your focus. So you'll have less FP to use. And I think it even might debuff you a little bit. I'm not sure if it does that for sure. Um, or I don't know if it debuffs you. Like I don't think you take more damage, but I think that you deal less damage if you're inflicted with met. Well, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it debuffs, honestly. I'd have to look that part up. But um, but it does do a good amount of damage, and it, it takes some of your FP. So... And it's... And most importantly, actually, it just it stuns you. Um, so people can basically kill you no matter what after you get procced with it. And yeah, it looks like I got that one. It's It has similarities to Bloodlust, but Bloodlust, yeah, it doesn't really stun you much at all. Um, but, and Bloodlust sometimes does about the same damage, and sometimes it does more, um, because every weapon has two different Bloodlusts, well, there's two, there's two possible blood loss damages that you can get. Like, there's regular blood loss, and then there's severe blood loss, and the game doesn't tell you that. You just kind of have to know which weapons do which. Um, so.
That's impressive though that you've never let it proc you. You know? Because it's... There's definitely parts in the game where it can be tough. Like here, I'm gonna get it proc right now. <laughs> I'll fight that giant, sure. Oh, yeah, that's this fight. I guess the trick is just to get behind them though. Got so lucky there. Dragon says the closest I got when I was killing the casters uh, who summoned the flame at the top of the tower. Oh, so you may not have been here yet, or or no, you you probably did come here, but you just didn't get the mana sprocked. Um, but yeah, the, at the top of the tower, um, when I got to that part of the game, I definitely died a bunch just not knowing what was going on. <laughs> I just, uh, I, I, I had no idea. I was like, I know, I knew something was up, but I couldn't tell what. Um, it just felt like a very dangerous area. It's like, holy cow, like, I don't even know what's hurting me. Yeah, that's fair. The higher your focus and your mindset, I think, the, the less it affects you. Yeah, you've been here. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's cool. Well... I've done a lot in Volcano Manor already, and I know I haven't beat the boss, and I, there's a lot that I haven't explored, but... Um, I saw the status bar only went up when you were in line of sight of the Sauron Flame. Yeah, see, and that's... That's, um... That's good, like, observational skills. Um, you know? Or, alternatively, I'm just really not observant at all. Or it's a, or some combination, you know. But yeah, I, that was, uh, um, I thought it was, I was thought it was, it was pretty cool to discover what it was. I, I like that. Oh yeah, you were like, that's, uh... <laughs> You like, uh, you found an enemy and you went after them. That's fair. There's two random undead we have to find. We have to look for the Ramparts Path, Side of Grace.
and uh, I do not have that yet. Oh, wait. Is it the castle ramparts? No, it's not. Yeah, um, well, we can't do that yet. And uh, we also are looking for uh, the road of inequity, of iniquity. Well, here's the bridge of iniquity. So maybe it's like over here, I guess, the side of grace that we're looking for. Oh, no, it's right here. Road of Iniquity. First one is near the Blyde Trap. I, I honestly forget where that is. Also, apparently, yeah, if I go east... Never fought this one, I don't think. That's gross. <laughs> Yeah, the first, um, the first larval tier, exactly. Yeah, there's a guy that turns into a bear. I, I'm Groot. I became Grootified. I am Groot. I really wish the death blight affected invaders because Wow, there we go again. Um I'm gonna be sixty seconds, I have to use the restroom. I'll be right back.
Okay, I've returned. Sorry about that. I guess I'm not sorry about it. This is something I hear streamers say a lot, you know? They get sorry that they went to the bathroom, but like, you gotta go to the bathroom sometimes. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me back. Or welcoming me back. I tripped over my words there. Um, I'm gonna see what happens if uh, invaders. Um, let's let's see if we can surprise an invader. They're gonna be brave enough to go through. Here, things close to me. And they, I don't think that they can get hurt by it. Uh oh, but I can use it to my <laughs> advantage. I think that counts. <laughs> Am I doing the steal people's clothes invasions? Um. I like the I, I like the sound of that. I think that's a good idea. I just don't know what that means. <laughs> um, also, I left my cup in the other room because I'm smart. So I'll be 30 seconds while this loads. Top 10, top 10 big brain plays. It's definitely in my top 10. Absolutely. So I'm still taunting. I do kind of enjoy that the invader was scared of the enemy. That's I think that's fun. Like people who invade don't expect to run into a gigantic tentacle monster um, in an area like this. <laughs> uh, unless they know the game really well, I guess. But I don't know if we're going to get another invader quickly or not. Seeing as we died, it probably. Oh, now, yeah. We do. We do have to activate. Oh, 
although if I'm too bad at fighting this, then maybe... Maybe I can't. Oh, there I go, I'm about to die. Very close. That build-up takes a long time to go down, too. Like, I really should just run and eat a bolus. And the range, let's see how far that range goes. Pretty far. Yes, the invasions, invasion missions for the lava mansion people. Yeah, I should I should do that after. Um, maybe even before I kill this monster because this monster is like intense. What, can I handle my butt slam? I know not of this. Oh, stunned. Got one invasion, cool. I don't know where they are, so I guess they're more likely to be up here. Oh, that's smart of them, to use the environment like that. Oh no, we got a hunter coming in. Did not... Oh, it's getting laggy. this build. Pop their tier. They have a they have a tier I forget what it's called, but it's like a crimson tier or something like that. Um where if your health is brought down to a certain level it pops and then you get bonus health. Just as like a it keeps you from making like a big mistake I guess.
Oh, tough luck. This guy kind of surprised him. Then three on one is pretty tough. Good game, though. Yeah, I think that's it for this part. I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna look at my map. Oh, thank you. That was very kind of them to put a glowstone down. Uh... Nullify that. Tears of Denial. Is it called Tears of Denial? I think that I think that you were making a joke, <laughs> which is, it does sound like, uh, like it's a good tier for, in PvP for sure. Like you do kind of deny people any damage they were trying to do for that, for that hit. Um, so yeah, where am I going next? Is the question. I haven't found the spell uh, in Elven Weed. Oh, it was called Tears of Denial, yeah. Oh, it's far down, okay. Thank you. You're, you're, um... You've got this. Although, I don't think I'll find it before I'm summoned. Yeah, I'm getting summoned, unfortunately. We haven't been here yet, so this is uh, Lindell. So they haven't been this far yet. So I may have to leave. I don't I don't know if I can get to where they are. Yeah, I think I dropped down the wrong spot. We'll have to wait to see if they drop down or just leave. Because we're locked in here. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rack in, in a cage. Yeah, the sewers. I think the sewers can be fun if you at least know where to go. But it's, I, I totally flopped this one. Um, total coffin flop over here. So what I'll do is I'll just sever. Because there's no way I can help them. In a way that might help, because I think when I leave, the enemy gets like a notification that they got health or something, or like a for calling remedy. So it might it might interrupt whatever they were doing. I forget how that works. Though. Um, so yeah, we're trying to invade for Volcano Manor, or you know, Volcano Manor has a nickname that sounds very similar. It, this sort of thematically has to do with it, but I feel like we can't call it that till we get to right card. So uh, here's this is the thing we need to do. Um, I'm actually thinking. Yeah, see, uh, Volcano Manor Request Vargrim. Uh, that's one of them. But there should be another, and it's up here. Uh, Volcano Manor Request Juno Hoslow. Um, 
And yeah, and then this is this is a starfall crater. Yeah, it uses the same symbol, which is misleading. But um, this we do need to do this, so it's a good eye that you spotted it. Really? Yeah, I am. Um, you may have. What happens though is if you beat Rykard, every quest you're doing at Volcano Manor stops. So if you if you beat Rykard before you finished um, your invasions, then you may have missed. You may have missed it. I'm not sure what prompts the second one though. Um, so yeah, like Raya, Raya's quest gets stopped. Um, Sadly, too, I believe uh, Rec Recusant Bernal's quest gets stopped, which is a, a bummer because it's hard to do anyways. I think. Well, yeah, I forget what the steps are there. I think you do have to beat Rykard as part of his quest, but that reminds me I should talk to them. The dude in the ash area has the whips. Um, oh, okay, yeah, the, um, of the two, yeah, invasions that we gotta do. You're still alive, us. Well. So I don't want to talk to them, I want to talk to... Okay, so this guy's not here. Why is he not there? Is he in Jarberg already? I mean, you know, uh, the helmet looks like someone has tried to cave his head in. Um, it kind of does, if only because I think people have tried to cave his head in. He's a uh, he does like to um, he does like to to kill and murder people. Uncle Alexander won't come back here again. My home is of the past, and the past, as they say, is a different country. I suppose that's part of being a warrior, isn't it? Yeah, and it's sad, but it doesn't mean we won't find Alexander. Oh, we need to talk to Millicent, too. I've really slept on the story stuff this stream, even though that was the whole idea was that I was going to try and tackle it. But um, you know how it goes. I, so I want to get to the, uh, the Coliseum. But this game makes me worried that if I skip things, then I won't be able to go back. And for some things, that's true, unfortunately. But I think I've also... I'm probably being too careful. Unfortunately, he's not here. Not yet. Or we missed him. So... Oh, you know where he might be, though? He might come back here. I know where Alexander is, though. And he's close by. Kind of. Um, it's so turned around though, I can't even spot it. See through all their cave. I think this is it. Yeah, I think that's a good plan, you know? It's a... Uh... And I do recommend a guide. Also, that's an awesome emoji. I gotta add that to my list. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get it. Alexander is a good, is a good boy. Yeah, and 
the last time I was here, I, I pointed out that there's some cool furry pants in that castle, but I didn't show them off. Um, so let's take a look at that. Here they are. They kind of got a like a, I don't know. There, there is if you're gonna pick a pair of pants that are like furry, quote unquote. Uh, these are kind of the closest you can get because they kind of have like the fur looking texture on the thighs and they're chunky, which is fun. Um, the back of the legs is kind of covered by my chest piece right now. Let's try taking it off. There we go. So yeah, you can see the, uh, the feathers and everything, which honestly, that's a fun look. Just, uh... <laughs> going shirtless here but you know it's a worm Meat <laughs> stuffies all around. Little old Dark Souls 1 days in the sheer fear of seeing an invader with no clothes on. You know, I, I, I have that fear in this game, for sure, because you never know what they're gonna do. Glass cannon builds. Um, but I feel like in Dark Souls 3 it probably had like a, an even bigger effect, you know? Like, that game is just legendary for so many things. And I definitely should play it at some point. Like, I'm, I'm pretty deep in this, deep in it, you know? With this game. So it means, at this point I have to play Dark Souls 3. It's required. I don't know what we get for killing this guy. So I kind of don't want to. And sadly, Alexander is not here. Just a dragon heart? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it then, I think. I have, I, my heart is with dragons, and I, that means leaving the hearts in the dragons, too. Oh, there's sword. I mean, I may already have it, but if I want two of them, I guess... I guess the nice thing is that I don't have to do it. I do sort of feel like... It might have been fun to leave that death light creature alive. If only because if we wanted to see like cooperators get burned by it, I guess, but that seems kinda of toxic. I'm glad we killed it. I changed my mind. Um but in order to see Alexander we may need to kill that dragon. <laughs> so is 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 which do we prefer, the dragon or or Alexander? And we might not get Alexander is the problem. Like we may two of them. Hmm. Well, we got invaded. Oh, 
That was a lot of damage. Honestly. They earned that. But the lizard gets the trophy. <laughs> That was fun, but I don't know if I'll do many more invasion things because I think I'm just I think I'm just too tired tonight to really keep up with that. I'm doing okay, but I'm very I am very tired. But we should probably pick one more thing to do. And it could be whatever, you know. I don't have anything specific planned. Oh, you're not keeping me up. I uh, I appreciate that, though. Thank you for thinking of me. I am a, uh, you know, and I've got another like ten minutes or so in me of this for sure. This is a special place because this is my first um, co-invader spot where I would I would choose an NPC to help me invade um, or to help you know when people invade me rather. Um, yeah, exactly. The rune bear. Uh, this this specific rune bear is my first PVP partner. So we're very familiar with each other. We're like best bros. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they don't do a lot of damage to my builds typically, because I tend to have just enough defense for them. But they do slap um, your, your in invaders around a lot. So in the spirit of that, I guess I should summon. Stone. And like I kind of have the some of the sounds down with this bear. Like when I'm running away, I can hear roughly what's gonna happen. But I still get slapped here. I haven't named this bear. I want to call him Dougie, maybe. Is Dougie a good name? Of course, here they are showing me who's boss. They don't like that name, maybe. So I have eight flasks. <laughs> they didn't like that. They saw that. Yeah, the rune bear can break it open, uh, which is fun. The, the rune bear can break you open, too, it turns out. These guys are annoying. I don't like this. Am I really? Did I really? Did that really happen? Did I really happen? I guess I did that. It all happened. It's not a dream. Okay, back to Steak America. Definitely calling on Torrent to help us with that one. Oh, and they're still around, okay. I really wish the rune bear could meet this uh, magma worm. Oh, here we go again. I'm just gonna run, I guess. Interesting.
Looks kind of natural. Maybe. Yeah. See, because there's even a message. It's as if they stood on top of me to write that message. I use lock on since it guides sword swings a little better. I am. Um, did you read books or do I read? Do I read books? I need to read more. I've it's been a while. Um, I I definitely have some faves, but I haven't. Uh, you know, if you got a recommendation, I actually have a book to write my book recommendation on. I'm the type of person that writes on books. Um. You know, I honestly, I'm open to a lot of stuff. Um, I prefer fiction, though. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm open to trying something new. One book that I started listening to, which I, I don't know if I'm an audiobook person yet, but I started listening to a book called The Three-Body Problem. Um, but I only listened to the first chapter. It did sound like it was a good book, but it also seemed like one that I wanted to read instead of audiobook. Um, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if people like, do people read books on, on Twitch? Uh, like that could be fun, but also very exhausting. And it would, you know, I feel like you would have to have read the book, which... To, I don't know. I guess he wouldn't necessarily have to. But. So we have an invader. The Undying Mercenary. I'll write it down. Thank you. Um, because I'm actually, I just... Uh, I just applied for a job where I would be doing a uh, book club management work. Like, uh, I think it's mostly sales, but it still would require me to read books <laughs> again. It's been a while. So the Duchy of Terra. Cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll check those out. Whichever catches my eye more. I think I've, I'll start with, and then, uh... I appreciate it. The last book I meant to read, but didn't finish, was The Lighthouse by... Oh, what's her name? I should know this. Um... I don't know, I can't remember right now. I'm, I'm just pretty tired. But Virginia Woolf, that's her name. Um, like, it's, it's just like a classic that I have not um, read, but I didn't end up getting through it. Where's my boy? Where's my bear? Oh no, what's he doing up there? <laughs> this is why I love the bear. Yes, thank you. It's bear town. That's the blood loss. Oh, you cannot redirect the butt slam. You have to be pointing in the general direction right from the get-go. Oh, I really hope I don't kill the bear. No, he's good. He's got a lot of help. <laughs> I love this fight. I love this bear. It's my favorite bear in the whole game. 
It can kill me as much as it wants. It deserves. It deserves it. <laughs> Those are screams of joy from my character. I hope that's entertaining. I, I get a kick out of fighting alongside the NPCs in this game, especially the bears. It's a party. It's a party with bears. Uh, we've got a one wash bear and one rune bear. Together, they, they wreak havoc on the world. We can do that. I think we'll do that one more time and then we'll find somebody to raid. Just one more time. It's good to hear. Um, the Ember War is also a good book series. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I definitely need... I wish I had a job where, like, I just could read all day. Because that would be really cool. Or audiobooks, honestly. I could do audiobooks as long as, like, not every job... You can't do that at every job, you know? Um, the jobs that you can do it for, and and I, you know, any any job that allows you to like read books uh, would be cool. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Audio books. Um, Din joined earlier, and they mentioned that they use the uh, like a the same headset as like the bone conducting headsets. The aftershocks, those are really good for being able to work and listen to stuff. Gonna have to be very brazen here. So they don't know where we're at yet. But I feel like we've given we we had a chance to maybe sneak up on them there. I think we'll just use this opportunity to, to summon the bear. No, we could have been sneakier, but... knowledge is faltering.
Oh, I deserve that. That was a pretty quick fight, unfortunately. And I'm sort of uh, making a mistake here, too. I should get the Side of Grace up ahead. Because I'm using a bad Side of Grace. When you work 80 plus hour weeks, you chew through a lot of audiobooks. Wow, 80 plus hours is intense. I, uh, that's, I commend you for that. That's like, it's a lot. A full zombie mode. Yeah, I uh, I can respect that though. You know, like it takes a. Uh, you know, not everyone can do that. But then, like some people just like have to, anyways. And even when they really, you know, when it's too much. So yeah, there's a side of grace right here, but then yeah, I feel ya. You know, I hope that you know. I hope that it offers you the freedom to to make a, you know, any changes you feel like you you can make. You know, I feel like um, you know, it isn't it isn't wrong to have a hard job for portions of your life, but I hope, you know, I always hope that it moves to something else, um, too, you know, so that you can, you gotta have, you gotta have your chapters, right? You know, like, I, I guess, like, uh, it's kind of a cheesy metaphor, but the books, you know, that's pretty cheesy. That's a little too on the nose, like, chapters, but, um, yeah, I do think that, uh, It's, um, I want to try a lot of different jobs and stuff, if I can. Oh, that's really cool. That actually is awesome. The work is seasonal, seven months on, uh, five months off. That's really cool. And it sounds like it's not, um, I mean, it sounds like it's uh, grueling, but not necessarily labor intensive from what you said, which is good to hear unless I'm mixing up what you may have said before Ignoring the, the calls. The driving track is normally very easy. The seaters and stuff are auto steering enabled. That's really cool. That's a uh, that's awesome. I feel like it's, uh, but like, yeah, like you said, it's long hours because those companies, I don't know, like, maybe it's because they can't, um, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's like a few reasons for it, but some, you know, those jobs don't tend to hire for like part-time hours, you know, <laughs> they just, it's like you either work 80 hours or you don't, it's, which is a bummer too. Like maybe they make exceptions, but I don't know. It's it also, you know, because of all the expenses of 
training someone that's like they're trying to wring everybody dry of, uh, of you know, with that. It's a worker shortage most of the time. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting to hear though, you know. We got Dumbo the Dumb on our side here. Or not on our side, really. They're trying to murder us, but... Um, you know, we'll try not to let them murder back. Or we'll try and murder them first. We got Booyah Fett. I really hope that they don't kill our bear. Oh good, they're AFK. This is perfect. <laughs> oh, good game. Good fight. I'm going to run now. <laughs> So where's our invader, huh? Where are they at? Where do they go? Oh, here we go. Oh, we got another hunter. It's bear time, everybody. Everybody ready for bear? Oh, please don't kill my bear. That's sh that's what my name should be, which it won't fit. That's what I was hoping. If they're gonna attack my bear, then they need to die, you know? They're, that's my friend. I do not like the little gremlins, though. And where did my bear go? Where did they go? Hit it, honestly. Accept that. I really miss my bear. Where did they die? I think they must have died. I can hear them though. They're stuck. Oh no. Come on, over here. Bear o'clock, and you're not, you're barely with it here. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Come on, you wanna fight? Let's fight. I have to fight my bear too. This guy's just like, this is stupid. <laughs> it is stupid. That's why we're doing it. This is like precisely the point. Oh, uh, I don't know why I didn't dodge there. I knew I needed to. 
See, the bear saves me more than it, it, it kills me. Got no more healing. I don't know why I tried. This could get bad. Okay. Huh. There it goes. That was a little bit of a janky fight, but uh, everybody wins when the bear wins, so. And that guy bowed in respect of the bear build, so. We will do this again. Uh, every single build we do, we're going to test it out with the bear. That's going to be my new tradition. Um, and hopefully we can start doing new builds soon. It's just that I need to get to the stupid arena, which is, uh, again, has become a lifelong quest at this point. Um, one guy fell asleep at the wheel and wrote off a 260k tractor. Dude, that is like... Yeah, um, I could see that. I actually worked at a company where um, someone working there fell asleep at the wheel twice and, and going like highway speeds uh, in, in like a, a span of like a month or two. So um, because it's just like it's hard to find people to do that kind of work. Um, yeah, and it's hard to get people to stay alert. It's an interesting field, though. Well, I mean, it's you know, it's it's not a a lot of people don't know a lot about that stuff. So I think I think it's cool. Um, as far as where we should head to next, um, well, this is a really really cute game. It's called Little Gator Game. It's, it's Crudberry streaming. You may like Crudberry um, Dragon. So. I'm going to send us there if it allows us to. And thanks again for, for spending time tonight um, again. I, I look forward to seeing you guys soon.